You should be feeding your baby carnivore. Or should you? What's up, guys? It's Friday, and so you know what time it is. But first, make sure if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, follow the algorithm. I got sent this video and um, I'm going to do my best to not go homicidal. All right, so I'm just going to read what the video says. We fed our baby a carnivore diet for six months and this happened. Hit milestones ahead of others, never, never constipated, never been to a doctor, no allergies, strong and tall, very calm and happy. And it shows all these walking confident at 10 months, still prefers meat, eggs, raw milk, and fat. You're right moron if you want to do some dumb ass elimination diet or some crazy restrictive diet then go ahead and do that your child does not need to one who wants to see an eating disorder in the future huh and two your baby needs prebiotic fiber for development of a healthy gi system and then people are like well how the well baby did. Plenty of babies grow up in horrible environments and turn out perfectly healthy. And other babies grow up in great environments and turn out very unhealthy. This shows at one, this is just anecdote. Two, I don't know if you know this, but when somebody's trying to sell protocols and is a zealot, they lie! They, people, don't, did you guys know that people will lie to make money? Oh my God! Somebody stop the press! Are you serious? Holy sh And even if you're not making money, guess what people will do when they're passionate about something and they're in a cult? They'll lie! Well, they don't even think they're lying because they're like, I'm actually perceiving this. Did the baby get constipation? I don't know. No way to know. But it's not data, okay? This is no different than the people who put their babies on a vegan diet, okay? Also, you as well. That is a child who cannot consent to the crap that you are doing to it. Now, I am not a big fan of parent shaming, but I'm ashamed the f out of these parents because you care more about promoting your own bull than you do about the health of your child. You're arrogant, you're a moron, and you're lucky that your baby didn't have some serious side effects. Thank God he didn't. But all these like, hit his milestones. Okay, maybe. We look at the human studies and the mountain of human evidence showing that prebiotic fibers are important for healthy GI development. I just don't know why we're having this conversation anymore. And saying they were never constipated. This is the, the carnivore trope that you go like, well, I still poop. No, pun intended. Because 80% a fecal matter is turned over GI cells. So you'll still poop, but if you add fiber, you poop more frequently and more easily. And they'll go, well, you're pooping less because you're being more efficient. You're just not adding any bulk to your stool, you morons. I can't say any more about this. I hope the parents of this video get explosive diarrhea. You just, you, you don't be a home.